What's going on guys? This is Johnny Hoon here at Gen Con 2019. We're here, we're talking with Paul from Beetle and Grimm's. Uh, Paul, how are you doing today? I'm great. I'm great. Having a great time. Yes. Uh, can you tell the folks out there a little bit about what Beetle and Grimm does and the experiences they're bringing to the folks who are into Dungeons & Dragons? Sure, sure. So Beetle and Grimm's is a company that myself and four of my good friends uh, founded just a year and a half ago. So we were playing D&D together for 20 some years and we decided that we wanted to start a company that just let us put together all the things that we love about tabletop gaming, which is being able to have the stuff that you can actually share uh, and, and show to players. So what we do is we work with Dungeons & Dragons to create uh, box sets of the adventures that have the physical handouts that you need for the adventure, so that when a player finds a letter or a map uh, or gets a badge or a pin, you actually have the thing to give them. So as the DM, you can give them a Hellrider badge, or you can give them a Harper's pin, and actually have them be able to hold it, wear it, and it just adds to the, the fun of it. So last year was our first product, Waterdeep Dragon Heist. And this was a platinum edition. We only made a thousand of them, uh, and we sold out, uh, and it was a huge, a huge hit. Uh, since then, we've done a few others. We did uh, the silver edition of the Ghosts of Saltmarsh. Uh, and again, this box set includes handouts, battle maps, DM screens, all the things that you're going to need to have the most amazing and most immersive tabletop experience. And what we're doing now is we're working on the new adventure, Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. And that's going to include, among other things, this amazing infernal war machine uh, that is a part of the eternal war between the devils and the demons. And your players uh, will get to experience that uh, as part of the adventure. Very cool. So that's what we do. Very cool. Now, uh, you, the experiences that you guys bring in, like these handmade items and stuff like that, like, um, we're, like. Where did you guys want to, like, where did that idea come from? Like, where, where, did, sure. where did that come from? So it came from us sitting around the table, uh, either trying to do it sometimes, making our own props, or more often than not saying, oh, wouldn't it be cool if? And so after years and years of us sitting around saying, wouldn't it be cool if we actually had this? We said, you know what, let's just give it a shot. Very cool. And so we worked with uh, Dungeons & Dragons, but we also worked with a bunch of other licensees that worked with Dungeons and Dragons. So to create the pins and the badges, uh, the maps, we got artists that are already doing art for the Monster Manual and the Player's Handbook. We got them to do art for us, and we just put it all together uh, in a box. Nice. And then, uh, I mean, for you guys to have put this together, and like for, of course, as you just said, you, last year you had the first yeah. Platinum Edition, and it sold out. Like, the reaction obviously yeah. has been huge then, right? Yeah. I mean, it, I, It's been incredibly satisfying. I mean, it's so much fun. And just being here at Gen Con this year, this is our second year here, the difference between last year when we had to sort of explain who we were and what we were doing, and now we actually have the products to show them, and we can also... Uh, you know, to have people who come up who bought our last box and are now excited to buy the next one. Uh, it's just incredibly satisfying to see that response uh, from the people who have who have bought it and be able to share their experience. Uh, and it's it's really satisfying. I mean, we love it, and it's fun. To, it's fun to see other people love it just as much. That's very cool. Now, uh, for folks out there who uh, want to find out more yeah. information, who can't make it to Gen Con, obviously, <laughs> who aren't here, who are missing out yeah, because this yeah. is amazing, but uh, where can they go to find out more information sure. about uh, the Beetle and Grimm uh, yeah. products so, and things that are coming? So, uh, Beetle and Grimm's So, Beetle the website. Uh, you can order, you can pre-order Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. Uh, you can order the jewelry items, and you can order some of the few uh, Ghost of Saltmarsh boxes that we have left. So there are a couple available. Waterdeep, all sold out. Uh, all of these eventually will sold out, sell out when we end them. That's it. We don't go back and make more. So uh, if you're interested, definitely go to the website, check it out, uh, and have a great time. Very cool. Uh, for a little fun little question here, yeah. for 
the boxes and the stuff that you have made so far, what are some of your favorite items that have like come out of them? Uh, oh, so of the, our favorite items. Um, yeah, everything we do is efficient. So some of my some of our favorite. One of them is the uh, the actual water deep dragons. These are the actual coins that were part of the water deep dragon heist set. It's what the name of the adventure is all about. And yeah. these ended up just being so much fun. They were fun yeah. to have be part of the adventure. And it turns out that they take on, they've taken on a life of their own. People now use them as inspiration tokens. Oh. Uh, they use them just as part of their tabletop games. Uh, they've been a huge hit. And another one that's one of our favorites is the Harper's pin. So this is the pin for the Harper's faction. Uh, and we just love it because it, it looks like it's an in-world pin. It's a real pin that people wear. Uh, it was a great part of the adventure, and it's just a great thing to, to carry on. So players who are playing a, a you know a rogue or a bard uh, or a ranger and, and become part of the Harpers, this is something that they end up taking with them long after they finish playing this one adventure, and that's just a lot of fun. It's fun to just create these things and, and give these things to players that they end up taking and carrying on with them, you know, wherever they go. Amazing. Very cool. All right. Uh, thank you so much for coming on and talking with yeah, us no, a little absolutely. bit about like these amazing products. And uh, I look forward to seeing the next set to come out. And I'm sure people at home are going to be uh, looking up and trying to find out more information about how to get this stuff. Um, awesome. You guys are doing great work. Thank you so much.